Hey everybody, Scott Stevens here. Just wanted to do you a, a bit of an update. Um, have not done many updates uh, as our weather in the West has just honestly been not all that interesting. We've had other projects going on. But what has uh, largely been the case is that the storm in us has shut down through the West. We are, are left with a uh, almost a summertime ridge of high pressure, but certainly a, a very potent ridge of wintertime high pressure along the west coast that extends to Alaska, and in doing so has shut down largely so much the precipitation that one would expect in the western states for some time. We still have a deep low progressing out through east Texas, trudging through the lower Mississippi Valley, will weaken as it gets absorbed into the, this much lower, larger, cold Canadian air mass that is sitting over Hudson Bay. We'd pop out another 24 hours to uh, to the end of Thursday. This little uh, little storm continues to minor out, as, as the term is meteorologically, as it moves through the southern Appalachian states, and then a little bit of a ripple shows up out west. But all in all, the west and uh, the west remains quiet as this ridge amplifies strongly all the way from southern California across and through the breadth of Alaska, forcing the jet stream up and over Alaska across the pole and then down to plunge into the Great Lakes states, the uh, the mid-Mississippi Valley. So a continuation of the cold, bitterly cold conditions will run on through this coming weekend and through the first couple of days of, uh, of, of less essentially the 22nd of January when this low is still in place this ridge out west begins to weaken somewhat finally some Pacific energy begins to, to hammer at this ridge get the axis to move from you know 300 miles off the west coast to across the Great Basin which is at least some progress and then we can get uh, some rain showers or some snow showers finally into the western states once again but that's not going to happen until the middle of next week and as we look at snowpack numbers we can see that uh, the Cascades, Siskiyou's, much of Washington state is doing well it does get progressively drier as we move into inland Oregon the central mountains of Idaho, the Sawtooths, Bitterroots are doing okay, the Tetons and Wind River ranges of Wyoming 80 to 90 percent of normal snowpack Montana's running just about normal. It does get quite a bit dry as we move into Colorado and New Mexico, and I'm here in southern Colorado where the snowpack is is weak, weak, weak is about the best way to put it. As we look into the western states on the water vapor imagery, here's a strong ridge off the coast. The orange and the black is dry air, and we can see chemtrails on this edge as they begin to shoot their trails, lay out their trails along this edge as they try to build a cloud shield. They try, try try to pull down this moisture. We've got another plume of some Pacific moisture coming in off the west coast with numerous trails. Again, you can see that humidity as that, as that condensation nuclei from those trails begins to develop clouds. And we can see that happening in the very dry air that's off the California coast. We're going to pop into a high resolution satellite imagery. This is the Golden State presently with the snow on the, on the Sierras. And you can see the lines of the trails as they are taking shape off the coast of California. The wider view shows a nice arc. All of this, we had a, a, a huge event of ship trails out here yesterday. I'll show that shortly. And then here's more of these chemtrails. These very, very, very persistent trails creating, artificially creating this cloud cover in place. Let's go off rewind to yesterday. You can see in the marine layer all of the trails where these ships are running across the Pacific Ocean very, very quickly. As we can see on time lapse, they've got to be doing uh, every bit of 40 knots. And in doing so, they're leaving some condensation nuclei that is brightening up this marine layer, brightening it up. And so it's increasing the reflectivity of the top of the surface of the ocean to keep that solar radiation from warming the Pacific. So in, in effect, that's essentially what's happening here is they are generating cloud cover on the Pacific. As we look to what is happening off the Pacific today, this is a surface analysis for 21Z on 17th of January. Cold, cold high pressure through the middle part of the United States with uh, these higher basins uh, with some light snow outside of, say, Tooele, Utah. But most of the west is, is high and dry. Cold, cold Arctic air pouring in from Canada where we've got 30, 40 below across northern Alaska. Even at mid-afternoon across mid-Canada where the sun still remains low in the sky this time of day, 20. 15 below, 17 below, 22 below, 38 below, 33 below, 13 below as we get into and just north of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And then the stationary front denoting where we've got some downsloping, some Chinook winds warming across Montana. We're at mid-afternoon, low to mid-40s. You got on the other side of the stationary front, we've got cold easterly breezes and T 
teens, single digits, uh, to low 20s as we move across the Dakota. So very, very chilly. Beautiful weather across the Southern Plains states, 50s in Kansas, which is just fine for, for the second week of January. Uh, third week of January already, my goodness. Middle 50s, 55 at Tulsa, 60, low 60s at Dallas in mid-afternoon. So just some fantastic weather as this storm is now beginning to wind up across the Carolinas. You can see the steady rains across North Carolina, the cold front extending through Florida, and it is passing through Belize. This cold air is pushed that far south across the Yucatan and where it is through Guatemala, Honduras, Belize. And so it is uh, very chilly there. North of this front, as it begins to progress up the east coast, more snow is expected. And we can see the satellite imagery, a uh, visible one with that cold front there arcing across the Sunshine State, and then the high clouds um, streaming across New England, Pennsylvania, Jersey, and with the rains across the, uh, the nation's capital. But all in all, as we look uh, out towards next week, uh, let's pop towards the climatology because that's kind of an interesting story. We are expecting warmer temperatures uh, across the bulk of the nation beginning 23 January through probably the end of the month. And then the west cools off again as we finally see this ridge breaking down. Uh, precipitation, northeastern states, the northern Rockies. And then as we get into the second two-week period, 25 to 31 January, uh, Mississippi, Ohio valleys and eastbound look to see above normal temperatures. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Keep looking up.